Okay. I used to have a machine that would uh, would grind this stuff up. Some of them peppers are getting a um, they get start getting rotten places at the end.
You know what? I think there's an easier way to chop them leaves. I think there's an easier way. to make some rooting hormone out of aloe. I've never done it quite this way before. I wish I had a spoon. But I don't. So I got my little blender thing here. I'm gonna make it, make it into juice. Okay. Ah. First thing I'm gonna do is cut these cut these thorns off of this thing. This stuff for me gets hard to handle. It gets slippery. <laughs> it's almost like snot. It's almost like snot. But <laughs> All right, there's that side. Now, now, I, <laughs> <laughs> it it's hard to it's hard to do <laughs> I don't know if I can do okay <laughs> hard to do. I, I might go back to my old way. If I had a spoon, I'd just spoon it out. Now, I watch these people that do this as a profession. is a mess. <laughs> I said it, it's going to be, it's like snot. <laughs> it's like somebody with a bad cold. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's see how I need a dadgone spoon and of course can't find spoons and forks sometimes they'll show up but I'll guarantee you if you go 
in our kitchen right now, and I've already looked. Look in the drawer, and you won't see no spoons, no forks, no bread knives, none of that stuff. You won't see it. I don't now. I keep a I keep a spoon and a fork and a bread knife in my filing cabinet drawer, so I don't have to go. Uh, you know what? Look at that dripping down. <laughs> Looks like snot. <laughs> Talk about a snotty nose. Let's see. I'm gonna put this scraps in this thing here. This will be going in the in the um, this will be going in the uh, in the what did I do with my rag? Dang, this is messy. All right. I'll cut the tail off. I'll put this down in the floor where I just dropped them pieces. All right. Matter of fact, I'm going to cut it off up to there. Now, cut that up to there. Now I'm going to, I'm going to cut this. You, I wonder if you had a roller, could you roll that, could you roll that gel out? If I got anything I could use for a roller. My rolling pin. so much for that. I don't know why that camera keeps cutting off. I hope this, This is working better than the way I was doing it. Oh, shoot. Mess that up. Still got a little bit on there. All right, I'm getting 
the better hang of it now. <laughs> I swear it looks like it looks like snot. <laughs> looks like snot. Okay. <clears throat> now I'll take and run that in there. Now, I'm going to I'm going to let's see what it does. Set a little bit and we'll come back to it. All right, it's been about 20 or 30 minutes, so that's how it looks. Still got air in it, but it's down to the good stuff. Um, <clears throat> now. I've seen people drink this stuff. I, I, I don't think I would drink it. Now. Hope y'all can see that. Now. What I'm going to do. gonna do now these uh, golden dew drops I did uh, yesterday the cuttings what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take take them out of my you know what? That don't look like it's cut either. Take these here and I'm gonna dip them down in the stuff, and that's that's the bottle. Now that one's done. I like to say this is the poor man's rooting hormone. They charge you pretty good price for the stuff you know that comes I think these this bottle like this is upwards of ten dollars it lasts a pretty good while but it's upwards of ten dollars and when you only get to keep a hundred and fifty dollars a month out of your social security check because the rest of it has to go to the roof over my head the food I eat and some other incidentals. So, I got plenty of aloe out there. And I cut, was it three leaves? That's three leaves worth. Now, when I get done dipping this stuff, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, uh, all right, let me clip these right quick. What's left over, I'm going to pour in a bottle and 
and keep it a while. All right. And this is a lot easier on my finances doing it this way. Some people don't like to fool with it. They like to go buy that stuff. A lot of people don't think you can make stuff at home that does just as good as the store bought. Uh, I thought I cut all them even yesterday, but I must not have. I must not have. There we go. Right in the jar it goes. Uh, I wish I had some kind of board that had holes cut in it that I could set these bottles into because these things is easy to get knocked over. And used to I could make that stuff, you know. Of course I can't do it now. It's all I can do to to walk now. So there's a lot of stuff you can make. Like I'm in the process of making some fertilizer specifically for my tomatoes and pepper plants. And to do that, I have to save a bunch of banana peels, let them dry, and get crispy. And eggshells. Uh, I'm not, I know there's calcium in the eggshells, and I know there's potassium in the uh, banana peels and some other stuff. But you let them let the banana peels dry. I'll make a video of that when I do it. You let them suckers dry and then crush up your eggshells and then throw throw all that in in the blender. Or not the blender but but in my food processor. And can't nobody say nothing to me about that and fuss at me about it because that processor is mine. I bought it specifically for that job. Um, but it makes an excellent fertilizer for your tomatoes and pepper plants. Excellent. And some other stuff. And then you can take, you can also make different kinds of fertilizer with coffee grounds uh, and eggshells. You know, I think coffee grounds is rich in, in nitrogen too. I'm pretty sure it is. But, you know, the only thing I don't like about these. <laughs> About this aloe, unless you got a technique that you use, uh, <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's slimy. It's like snot, eel snot. <laughs> I don't know where the phrase eel snot comes from because I guess because eels are slippery. Have you ever tried to hold on to one? So I guess they assume that eel snot is slippery. <laughs> I don't know, but. At any rate, this this is a, a good economical way to go. And as long as I've got aloe, and I will have aloe from right on, you know, because um, I got some nice plants out there, and if I can ever catch these neighbors at home, there's a patch out there on the right-of-way on the road, 
and that there is some nice, nice size aloe plants in there. But I don't want to take one till I see if the uh, neighbor's house is close to that is okay with it. Now, these golden dewdrops should be growing roots in about two to three weeks if it does look as good as it did the last time. I mean, I was shocked when them things started growing roots. They, they're easy to root. And if you get these things up to size, oh, I suppose it wouldn't take too long to grow them out to to be able to sell them for nine dollars or something a pot. All right, that was the last bottle, and that's about eighty-three plants. I was going to go over there today and take some more clippings. I would like to have a couple of hundred of these coming along. I've got in the back of my head that eventually, I, if I'm living long enough, I can sell them easy. I, I can call, especially if you got a couple of hundred, you can call these landscapers and let them know what you got. Because sometimes a landscaper, he'll get into a job or something, he have to do put out a 50 or 100 of them shrubs and they'll come in and buy a whole lot but anyhow I guess this is going to be my video it's probably going to be short but it's uh, that's my story and I'm sticking to it and that's how I make aloe hormone you know rooting hormones uh my daughter overslept. She was running late to go get Jay at school, and she come running out of the house. Now, we got one cat. If he's in that living room when I'm going out, he's going to try to get outside, and that's Diamond. Diamond wants out terrible bad. And he's got he's come out several times when I'm going out. When he's not, everybody in the house should know you don't let Diamond out of the back bedrooms. That he can have the whole back run of that house, both bedrooms and the bathroom, and keep the door shut, and so I can go in and out as I please. And everybody knows, or should know, that when I'm outside, don't let that cat out of that back of the house, because I don't have no way of knowing when He's out in the living room, and I open the door, and he'll come flying out of there, and down under the deck he goes, and then they all have to get out here and spray water and all that stuff to get him rounded up. Uh, and that's what happened a while ago. My daughter come flying out. She was running late. She left her bedroom door open, and I had to go in and get something in, in my room. And I opened the door, not knowing, having no idea that he was out. And quick as that door opened, bam, out the door he went, under the deck he went. And nobody here but Donovan that can get him out or get him back in. But he has to work at it. They have to trick him and stuff. They have to spray water under the deck, all that. But it's not my, but then they act like it's my fault. They act like, Poppy let the cat out again. Poppy ain't done squat. Whoever lets him in the living room, and when Jaden's here, I'll go up to the door just in case he's let him outside in the other part of the house. I'll work the doorknob back and forth, letting him know that I'm coming in. And and he's sitting there with them earphones on and stuff, and he don't hear me doing that. Most of the time he's not out there, but... Sometimes, like yesterday, out the door he went because Jaden was sitting in there with the, with the things on his ears. 
and he didn't hear me rattling the door, you know what? I gotta wash this out, and I got to find me a container to put this uh, aloe in. Yeah, I see people drinking this stuff. I, I don't think I'd. <laughs> I swear at some snotty stuff. I guess I need to refrigerate that too. Um, but anyway, folks, that that's my video. I'm sticking to it. That's my story and all that good stuff. And I love every one of them, and you know that. And I'll tell you right now, this handful of loyal subscribers I got right now. Uh, I've been, if, if, if I ever hit, I don't play the lottery, so I can't hit it, but if I hit the lottery, all my loyal subscribers would be getting a gift, a monetary gift. I don't, I don't forget people that's been good to me. Even though my videos stink, my videos are gonna get better. I promise. And uh, I, I, tomorrow I will go back over and get more uh, golden dewdrop clippings, and I'll make a video of it. I've just got to get the hang of how to set that camera so it don't look like it's just pointing down at my dirty pants or at my feet or the front of my scooter. It needs to be pointing where I'm going, and I just ain't figured that. It's not like the GoPro was. Dang, I wish I had another GoPro. I almost wished I had another GoPro worse than I had that want that big scooter. Now I want that big scooter bad, but it's gonna be a while. Well, I ain't got but two hundred and uh, I think two hundred twenty-eight dollars in the GoFundMe. I wish GoFundMe didn't require you to. You have they would have to take it out of your account and, and send it to your bank after so many days and I wanted to leave it I wanted to leave it in the in the GoFundMe in case it come to a point where I thought it's just best to refund the money of course for refunded money certain percentage of it's going to be lost anyway because uh, GoFundMe is going to get their part anyhow I'll see you in the next one, guys. That's my story. I'm sticking to it, and I do love you. See ya.